the Silent Wings Pro 4 140mm from Be Quiet. This is one of Be Quiet's most premium fans, but is it any good? Well, let's find out. What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. For those of you who are new to the channel, I test and review PC cases, CPU coolers, PC case fans, and video cards. Before I get into this overview, just to have full disclosure, this fan was sent to me to test and review. But as always, all opinions expressed in this video are mine. So if you do end up liking this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it does help a lot. So let's take a look at this fan. The model number is SIW4 14025-HF PWM. It has a rated max RPM of 2400. It has seven blades. It is a fluid dynamic bearing. And as the model number indicates, it is a PWM, so it does have the four pin PWN connector. And it has a five year warranty. Now the Pro 4s, so that is the 120 and 140 millimeter variants, have a speed switch with three settings, medium, high speed, and ultra high speed. Plus, it comes with a rather large accessory box for a fan anyways. This box has different mounting clips as well as screws and toolless pins for installing into the case. Before getting on to the results of my testing, I wanted to be very clear that all of this testing is based off of a sample size of one. So this isn't necessarily the exact performance you'll get, but it should be relatively close. Okay, starting with the PWM range. With the speed switch set to medium and the PWM at 100%, this fan has an RPM of 1,070-ish. And with the PWM at zero, the fan stopped spinning, so it had an RPM of zero. The fan kicked on at 4% PWM and had an RPM of 380-ish. With the speed switch set to high speed and the PWM at 100%, this fan's RPM was at 1,900-ish. At 0% PWM, again, the fan stopped spinning, so an RPM of zero. The fan again kicked on at 4%, and again had the same RPM of 380-ish. With the switch set to the ultra high speed and the PWM at 100%, this fan had an RPM of 2470-ish. Then at 0% PWM, the fan stopped spinning again. And again, the fan kicked on at 4%, and had an RPM of 380-ish. So the point of where the fan actually kicks on was the same between all three settings. The speed switch seems to just adjust the top RPM of the fan. And because of this, I did all my testing using the ultra high speed setting. So that is it for the PWM range testing. Before moving on to my standardized testing, if you are liking the video and are appreciating all the testing that I do, can you please support the channel by using the Amazon Associates links in the description? All you need to do is click on the link that suits your location, and then when you add an item or items to your cart and order them, the channel will get a small kickback at no extra cost to you. If you do have any questions on how I test the fans, please check out my fan testing methodology video. There'll be a card along the top, and I will also have it linked in the description. But please note I have updated the cooler that I use for the CPU cooling performance testing to the Frost Commander 140. This way I can test 140 and 120 millimeter fans on the same cooler. Okay, starting with the DBA and RPM. At four volts, the Silent Wings 4 Pro 4 140 had a DBA of 32 and an RPM of 860. At six volts, the sound level went up to 32.4 DBA and the RPM was at 1290. At eight volts, the DBA went up to 34.7 with the RPM at 1695. At 10 volts, the sound level went up to 39.5 dBA and the RPM went up to 2070. And finally, at 12 volts, the dBA was 44.6 with an RPM of 2420. Okay, now for the sound recordings at each of these voltages, but first the ambient room noise for your reference.
Now for the airflow testing, I left the DBA numbers up on the chart for your reference. At 4 volts with no obstructions, it had an FPM of 195. With the mesh panel, it had an FPM of 175. And with the covered panel, it had an FPM of 58. Jumping up to 12 volts, with no obstructions, it had an FPM of 665. With the mesh panel, it had an FPM of 615. And with the cover panel, it had an FPM of 285. Moving on to the CPU cooling performance test. At 4 volts, the CPU's steady state temperature was 80.5C. At 6 volts, it was 74.4C. At 8 volts, it was 73.1C. At 10 volts, it was 71.9C. And at 12 volts, it was 71.2C. Okay, I will be comparing the Be Quiet Silent Wings Pro 4 140mm, which typically sells for around 34 USD. The Arctic F14 PWM PST, which has an MSRP of 12 USD. The Arctic P14 PWM, which sells for 12 USD. And the Be Quiet Silent Wings Pro 4 120, which sells for 30 USD. So when comparing the Silent Wings Pro 4 140 to these other fans, so at 8, 10, and 12 volts, it is not as loud as the 120 Pro 4, but it is louder than the Arctic fans. Moving on to airflow. So with no obstructions, the 140 Pro 4 is moving more air at each voltage. In the mesh panel testing, it is still moving the most amount of air at each voltage, but the 120 Pro 4 is nipping at its heels. In the cover panel testing, it is still moving a good amount of air at each voltage, but this time the 120 Pro 4 does move more air at each voltage. Which makes sense because smaller, faster spinning fans do typically have a higher static pressure, so they are able to pull more air from around the cover panel. Next, we'll go over the CPU cooling performance. At 6 volts and beyond, all four of these fans do quite well. But both the 120 Pro 4 and the 140 Pro 4 perform very well and have very similar temperatures. And that brings us to the 34 dBA testing. Having all the fans noise equalized to 34 dBA or 12 volts if they don't get up to 34 dBA. With no obstructions, the Silent Wings Pro 4 140 performs pretty well with an FPM of 425. With the mesh panel, it again performs pretty damn well with an FPM of 390, tying the Arctic F14 PWM PST. With the covered panel, it performed very well again, with an FPM of 180. So yeah, the noise performance is pretty damn good for this fan. So what do I think of the Be Quiet Silent Wings Pro 4 140? Its performance is really good, everywhere. Now, it might make a little bit more sense to go with the Silent Wings 4 120 Pro or high speed if you know you're going to be going with a covered front panel case. But the Pro 4 140 still does pretty well, so I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Now, there are a few things I wanted to touch on. Like I said in the Silent Wings 4 120 PWM high speed review, be Quiet has a claimed lifespan of 300,000 hours. And as I said in that review, I have no actual way of testing that because that actually breaks out to be 34 years or 34.6 years or something like that. So there's no way I can test it. And again, I would only be testing one fan. So that doesn't make any sense whatsoever for me to even attempt to test that. So that does kind of leave you, the purchaser, to either believe Be Quiet's claims or to not. Now, Be Quiet does give a five-year warranty, which isn't bad, but as I just said, it's not 34.6 years. So I, I'll leave that up to you. The next thing is the price. The Silent Wings Pro 4 140 has an MSRP of 33 or 34 US dollars, which is a lot of money for one fan. 
but it is one of the best fans that I've ever tested and that I'm pretty sure is out there, period. So you are paying a premium price for a premium product. To me personally, it does make more sense to go with the Silent Wings 4 140 PWM high speed. I know, horrible name, but yeah. Now, they're only 25 USD rather than the 33 USD or so for the Pro version. Yes, by doing this, you will lose 500 RPM or so. But the Pro 4 140 34 dBA testing I did had the RPM at 1590 which then having it max out at 1900 RPM with a mesh panel will still give you something in around the 450 to 470 FPM range, which is still a mega shit ton of airflow. So, and you're saving $8 per fan. So if you're filling up a case of that, that is like an SSD. Or something. Now, with that being said, things do get really quite funky when you compare it to the Arctic fans because of the price difference. But the Silent Wings 4 fans can be placed behind a meshed or covered panel rather than the Arctic fans that you should be going with the F or the P series. These can go with both, so you can most definitely carry them on to your next case, no matter what case you end up going with. So the next time you're looking to buy some fans, you really do need to ask yourself. Are you okay paying a premium price for a premium product? Some of you will be fine with it and others will not be, but the Silent Wings 4 fans are good fans and knowing that is, I guess, half the battle, right? Well, that's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. There is also the HFT Discord server. Uh, it is completely free to join. All you need to do is agree to the server rules and then you get to view all of my charts. A link is in the description. There is also Patreon if you would like to support the channel directly. Again, a link is in the description. Uh, you may wanna check out this link here. It'll most likely be to my CPU fan playlist. And as always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.